Hi there everyone, welcome back again to iPad Essential. Today in this video, we will talk about how to get chat GPT in your iPad and then we will also talk about how you can efficiently use it. So without further ado, let's jump into our iPad screen. Okay, so now here you can see I also have connected my mouse so that you can see my cursor movement. In order to install chat GPT, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here to App Store. So let me type here App Store and then let's click on it. After opening App Store, let's click here on search and then search for chat GPT. So there are so many app one may easily get confused. So what we need to do here is you make sure that it should be written here as official app by OpenAI. And then you can also check the developer here. So the developer here is OpenAI. So just make sure that the developer needs to be OpenAI. After that, if you are installing this app for the first time here, so you will see option of get. But since I already have installed it in past, just like any other app, when you install it, you see this option. So simply click on it and then you will see your app will get installed. After installing app, let's click here on open. And there we go. So what we need to do here is we need to click on continue. And then let's say you are using this app for the first time. So I would suggest you to try even without creating your account. You can type anything here, for example, help me to study vocabulary. So then here you will see the chat GPT will come up with the answer. So here you can see chat GPT have created one such question, which again will be very much related to what you have asked chat GPT to do. And then let's say you are feeling satisfied with it. Then you, what you can do here is you can click on sign up and then uh, based on your requirement, you can, you know, either create your sign up using Apple or using Google. In my particular case, since I am already using chat GPT, I'm going to use Google and then I will be signing in using same account. And here we go. I have signed in and I'm going to say if you are doing sign up for the first time, the process almost remains same. It will only ask you to enter your date of birth and your name and then you are good to go. Now we are in chat GPT. And here now we see even more options. For example, we obviously can type and can ask ChatGPT whatsoever we would like to know. Then here we also have option to attach picture and then ask question related to that picture. That is also feasible. You can also perform search in internet. For example, is the latest iPhone available? And now here you can see it says searching in web and now came up with the result. And today is Fab 11 as you can see here on the top and the data it fetched is also I would say real time. However, when we do not use this search button, then you will see the data is not the real time or the latest one. So in order to have latest data or you know real time data, you need to either select a uh, chat GPT 4.0 o model or you need to enable search. And then here are list of models which are available to perform chat. So apart from 4.0, here we can see we have got O1, O3 mini, O3 mini high, GPT 4 and so on. We also have option to temporary chat that will not save or create any history. As you can see here, they may keep this copy for the chat up to 30 days and then they will eventually delete it. Now, apart from that, uh, we also can attach file as I was saying before. And then, uh, you know, you can add, let's say PDF file or for example, this particular document, which is quick win paradox. And then uh, I'm going to say summarize this document. Okay. So let's see what it come up with. And there we go. Here we can see the chat GPT scanned it and then came up with this summary, which is really nice, I would say. And as usual, we can ask any questions to chat GPT and then it will give us answer. And not only that, 
chat gpt allow us to type but you can also do voice chat with chat gpt for that you need to press this button since i am currently using mic so it is not getting enabled but uh, i would say it is pretty easy the way it is in the phone and let me show you these two features here so if i press this button so here you will see this kind of thing will come and eventually you will see that uh, you will able to chat with chat gpt am i right chat gpt yes you're right you can chat with me about anything how can i help you today so this is what i wanted to talk about so chat gpt i was talking about the capability of your um in ipad so i guess uh, we can also access this voice chat in ipad as well right Yes, you can access voice chat with me on an iPad as well. You can use the ChatGPT app for that. Okay, so seems like I am also getting eliminated because ChatGPT can explain about himself by, you know, talking about him. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so then please do like and subscribe to iPad Essential to see more such video. related to ipad so this channel is only specific to ipad if you have got any question or you want me to cover any particular topic or app related to ipad do let me know in comment down below i will definitely try to work on the suggestion provided by you so be subscribed to ipad essential and let's catch each other in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye